Hi, I'm Dave Goodman, Director of Security Engineering at Tufin Technologies. We are often asked how SecureChange, our full-featured security-specific change automation solution, works together with ticketing systems like BMC Remedy to deliver a fully managed and automated security change process. Let's see how it works. Our first step is to open a ticket in Remedy for an access request. This is a common use case as some customers require information be available in their main ticketing system. Here in the main Remedy console, notice I've selected or I've typed in a summary of new network connectivity change. In my notes, I request port 8080 open from 192.168.20.15 to 172.16.100.34. I populate other mandatory fields and I select next stage and then save to submit the new ticket. We can see that a corresponding ticket is automatically created in Secure Change. Here we can clearly see that the information populated in the remedy ticket is automatically translated into the new secure change ticket. I can clearly see that I need port 8080 open from 192.168.20.15 to 172.16.100.34. Here in secure change we can now take advantage of the many security and network related automation capabilities. The current active step, the planning step, is the step in which the text request is translated into an access request. The elements of the access request can be automatically populated or we can use a variety of ways of inputting the details including the use of the pre-existing object database. This is a popular feature because it uses predefined elements as building blocks for the access request. In our case we're going to enter the source destination and service textually for the purpose of this demonstration. So from our source 192.168.20.15 to our destination 172.16.100.34 for our service to our service port or for our service port TCP 8080. At this point I'm going to select done to move the ticket to the next step in the process. The ticket then goes through automatic steps of target selection, risk analysis, and verification. Target selection is a great feature because it uses topology to identify automatically the devices that must participate in the change. In this case we can clearly see that a target has been selected of this particular firewall module. Risk analysis is also performed automatically to determine if the requested change will allow traffic that your organization considers unauthorized or block traffic that your organization considers business critical. In this, in this case our risk is green indicating that there are no risks associated with this particular access request. Finally, verification is performed to determine if the requested change is even necessary. If the connectivity already exists, then the ticket can be closed. In the verification indication here, we clearly see that the RET request has not been implemented. The next step in our process is a dynamically assigned step. In this case, since there was no risk associated with this particular access request, we've gone automatically to, we've skipped this step and gone automatically to step five, which is our business approval step. Here in step five, the business approval section, I'm going to click the button request approval which is going to send this ticket to the remedy system for approval. Back in our remedy console 
we can see that our our parallel ticket is here in the plan and schedule stage now as we scroll down to the bottom of this window I'm gonna select approve to approve this particular uh, access element the design and implementation step where the engineer runs the designer and can then automatically implement the changes on the target system in this example a checkpoint management console is used changes are provisioned on other supported platforms by generating the actual commands required to implement the change on that platform it's easy to see how valuable that can be when changes are required across many different device types in a hybrid environment. Secure Change normalizes the requested change and designs it specifically for the specified plat platform. In our case, in order for this change to be implemented correctly, we need to add a new object with the IP address 192.168.20.15 and this object needs to be added to the source in Rule 10. If I select the implementation button, this will automatically provision that change on the checkpoint management console. I get positive reinforcement that it's been done by the green checkboxes to the left of each element of the suggested change. After the implementation is finished, it brings us to step 7, which is an automatic step which verifies that the change was made properly, closes the secure change ticket, and then updates the remedy system with the final information which then closes the remedy ticket. Back in the remedy console, we can see that the ticket and remedy is closed and implemented. In this demo, we've seen how Secure Change and Remedy can be used together to manage, authorize, and implement security changes. Thank you for your time today. For more information, please go to www.tufin.com.